Welcome to uh, Steelfest 2017. Here we have a really special guest, Carpathian Forest and Not the Frost. The really unique persona and the man behind a very uh, original black metal band. I welcome you to Finland. How's, how are things? It's okay, Henri. So Finland has been treating you fine and everything is cool? Like always. Will we have anything special to uh, to see today on stage? Mm, just rock and roll and a different different uh, setup of uh, songs. Um, it's just a test run. So you basically have a new lineup. Was it yeah. correct? Mm-hmm. It's a new lineup, uh, old songs, and we have uh, had this new lineup for a couple of years, doing some demoing, and um, yeah, getting things back straight. So you have a quite a. Uh, there was a, quite a time since your last album, but you've done some uh, kind of a solo projects in the in the meantime. Mm. What is all the reason for your hiatus? Uh, right now, just uh, a hunger uh, or uh, feeling something again. Uh, we're doing something and uh, have this not the first and uh, Carpathian, and the albums are almost ready. I just uh, need to record them and try to test them out as well. Uh, yeah. Mm. So you're basically a whole different band compared to your early years, and, and people have been pondering, can this be a real Carpathian Forest anymore, now that you're not with the original other member? Uh, how do you feel to these kind of questions or accusations or ponderings? Mm. I uh, totally see that. We just have to uh, deliver and uh, we just have to see. So uh, this is a test run for me as well, and um, fuck it, let's go. All right. You said you are all about now rock and roll, not so much traditional uh, second wave Norwegian black metal. Uh, what is what does this mean to you as a band a member and a songwriter and so forth? Which? What do you mean? I mean, like uh, you said, you said it before the interview that you have uh, kind of changed your mindset. Yeah, yeah. Um, You're more like hurricanes, did you say? Um, hurricanes, uh, pff, rock and roll, uh, and um, uh, longer songs, and uh, not so ma- much variations. We just have to see. And uh, anyway, uh, we are uh, demoing tape. Uh, tape uh, Demoing tracks and um, we just doing this shit and we have this test run right now. Uh, older songs uh, and uh, yeah, it's just going backwards um, uh, for for the future. And in, in a way, we, we not the first and the eighteen for so we are uh, finding ourselves again. So like uh, like in nineteen nineteen two. So I think this is the most complete it's ever going to get because it was never like this before because we never rehearsed never did something fun so it was like um yeah uh, uh, uh amputation okay uh dark throne did kind of a similar moves a few years ago moving towards more traditional rock and roll mm. from their very uh well How to put it? We're well founded black metal origins, and you are kind of doing the same kind of moves. Is this something to do with the age, or what is going on in Norway r- right now? I'm not so, so, so much about Norway or um, Dark Angel as well. Um, we're doing this uh, rock and roll shit, and uh, uh, maybe it has something to do with the age as well. Probably, but anyway, um, I think this is the grimmest. Um, Grimmest we're going to get without upside down crosses. Um, and um, lyric- lyrically, it's um, on the upper sides. So I, I, I know I, I'm just feeling a wealth of um, comfort. <laughs> Do you need any kind of, uh, let's say, substances in order to create your music? Do you have to use drugs, booze or anything to go on with music such as Carpathian Forest or how it's, how it's done? No, as uh, as you probably know as well, as, uh, it used to be a heroin addict, so 
with a lot of substances and uh, it's not like that anymore uh, just a few beers and uh, blah 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 and uh, no but uh, it was a, it was a bigger um, problem before because uh, I was all, all alone with this shit and uh, it went as it went so I went to hell and uh, this is the way back and uh, I don't know this is just a test run and uh, mm. Okay, so did you have a kind of a moment of clarity in order to come back from that uh, drug hell? I have a lot of moments of clarity, and uh, and um, I'm glad for all of the. Um, I love the downsides, uh, like a um, roller coaster ride. I love the downsides, and um, I learn a lot about uh, them, and um, gain myself, and uh, have some sense of dignity left, and uh, so. Uh, to go. So what kind of a rock and roll future shall we expect from you? Is it going to be booze and groupies or stuff? Or will you be uh, more on the uh, safer side? Not the safer side. Will it be dangerous again? It will always be dangerous at Carpathian first or not the first. And, uh, you never know. You never know. And um, that's the thing. And uh, anyway, that's m- make it worthwhile as well because... Um, I don't have the time, I don't have the effort, I don't have the um, values, I don't have the age. So um, you have to be uh, uh, full contact or nothing at all. So uh, it's like uh, t- t- tonight, it's just, uh, it's just rock and roll uh, or punk rock or something. Um, and that's... that's uh, Sufficient, I think so. And uh, anyway, it's it's a nice festival with all those bands and all those efficiencies or uh, blah blah blah. But anyway, we have just to play rock and roll and um, make it worthwhile. <laughs> So we were joking about before about this being a kind of like a Nazi festival. You get that, uh, that feeling, even as a joke, from somewhere. How do you feel these kind of uh, accusations that people are throwing? Like, you know, we don't gonna do these kind of festivals because there will be right wing bands or stuff like that. Mm. What do you think about these kind of elements in the in the black metal scene right now? <clears throat> uh, I'm not a politician, so um, I don't think this is a Nazi festival. Anyway, do you even give, give a shit? Sir? Do you even give a shit if yes, if there was this guy? Re- yes, I give a shit. Uh, but um, it's um, it, it's important. This is a diplomatic answer. Mm. It's, uh, uh, I give a shit. Uh, but uh, it's like um, we're not a punk band, so we don't do punk shit. Or um, we write our lyrics uh, with... Decency, but anyway, uh, we uh, record uh, or sense that there's um, turmoil. So, and uh, we place self in the turmoil. So, anyway, but like in Norway and or like the, um, the things that's happening, uh, evolving in Europe with the terrorist attacks and everything. And uh, so, in in a while, it feels uh, feels nicer to be on the. On the right side, on the right side, on the other links. So it's better to be on the right side. All right. So let's get to the more uh, weird questions. You mentioned that you are into ski jumping and you mentioned uh, even a Finnish ski jumper. What is all about ski jumping and winter sports to you? I love, I really love uh, cross country skiing. Ski jumping and uh, Janne Ahon and, and Martin Nyken and uh, in various jumpers and I really oh and uh, there's a lot of history in Norway from from cross country skiers and uh, the, um, one of the ski jumpers is the uh, brother of uh, Gain Chuda so it's very easy to like uh, ski jumping so 
en Janna hon en Matti Nyken en så up and down so maybe I can feel a bit like uh, Matti Nyken sometimes so. you know that Matti Nyken is a really really famous person uh, uh, also because uh, he's uh, alcohol abuse and all that stuff that's why that's why that's why we are uh, maybe on the same page and uh, we have the same parallel levels and uh, yeah whatever and um, yeah I have uh, I have uh, mm, But I registered that, and uh, the same with Norwegians. Uh, when, but uh, the winter sports are the best for me, like uh, and ice hockey as well. And have, have you watched the ice hockey uh, stuff that is going on right now? Yeah, Finland sucks. <laughs> really sucks. <laughs> really sucks. <laughs> What would be your uh, advice to the team not to do? Finland. Is yes. I say, be yourself. Be Finland. Um, or. What's the word? Spirit. Ah, spirit. A sisu in Finland, sisu. you know, the guts, kind of. Sisu. Okay. Sisu. So, what, what can we expect from tonight's show and uh, the rela- shows later on this summer as you spread your legs across the Europe? No, we're not. We are not spreading our legs. We're just recording a fucking album and uh, there's one concert uh, before Christmas and we have... Um, Arranged in front of us next year, and uh, math is not important. Tonight um, is fucking full blown uh, bl- um, rock and roll. Um, the way, um, the far as we can take it before hurting ourselves uh, and stuff. So uh, anyway, anyway, it's a nice venue. It's a nice city. It's a nice ve- weather. Mm. And um, blah blah, uh, just go on stage and do the rock and roll. One last question regarding drugs: If you would have to give an advice to the audience, what drug they should use and what they should avoid, what would be your advice? Uh, I don't know. Avoid everything. But if I, um, I've said this before, if I could do the same thing over and over again, I would prefer that. Yeah. Because I have done nothing wrong. I've um, done my mistakes. Um, I learned about it and uh, g- good and bad. Um, but for the um, for the children or the kinder, um, <laughs> don't st- uh, don't st- stop. Don't start smoking pot.